Also an emotional scene, a memorial tonight for Trina Newman Townsend, a 62-year-old mother and beloved activist who was killed the afternoon before Christmas when a driver ran into her and then just took off. She was dropping off toys at a shelter at the time of this hit and run. Let's go live to Chelsea Edwards in South LA with more. Can't imagine what this feeling's going through, Chelsea. Yeah, no, a lot of people have shown up here. There's just a sea of candles, lots of pictures, uh, lots of flowers that are here, and you can see a lot of people, organizers expecting upwards of 200 people that are gonna show up. And you can see family members, friends. Uh, we understand that one of the daughters who was inside the car is here, possibly set to speak. Uh, very emotional for everybody here. Now, earlier today, we spoke to Trina's husband. They were high school sweethearts. They'd been separated or apart for several decades before finally getting married just last year. Listen here. That was my baby. God led us down different paths. She had to live her life. I lived mine. Then, like I say, for charity and community service from the both of us, God brought us back together. She waited 47 years Tell me about to become Miss Townsend. Once we became married, she said, I'm complete. I got my name, I'm complete. She did, we were just talking about this like two weeks ago. Yeah. When you find your, your actual soulmate, it's amazing. It's amazing, it's, it's amazing you know? That's video from their wedding. Trina's husband, Curtis A. Townsend, said the couple were actually just planning to renew their wedding vows. That's something they intended to do every year after their Las Vegas wedding in 2021. Trina spent her life giving back to the community. She was an activist, a minister, a mother, a grandmother, and a foster mother. And she came from a large family. She was one of 16 children. Her siblings say her death has left a massive hole. Family closure. I mean, we all grieve in a certain way. And just still having the unknown of that person getting away with this horrific accident. And I'll call it an accident at first because I don't know the person's intent. But he didn't stop. He or she. I don't know who it is. I would plead and beg if any humanity is in this person, if any form of compassion is in this individual, to turn themselves in. And Trina was killed in a hit and run on Christmas Eve after dropping off toys to a shelter near Broadway and 88th Street, where this memorial is right now. She was about to get into her car with her children when a driver crashed into her, then took off. Police believe this is the car that hit her, a 2005 to 2008 blue Toyota Corolla. There's now a $50,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and the prosecution of that driver. Uh, so still looking for that driver tonight. As you can see, lots of people that have come out here, and we are expecting this press conference to start any moment now. We're expecting to hear from family members and some friends, uh, as well as some community activists as well. This officially starts at 6 o'clock tonight, and the family is inviting the community and other people from other communities who may not have even known Trina to come and show their support as well. Reporting live in South L.A., I'm Chelsea Edwards, Fox 11 News. And we hope that somebody comes forward. All right, Chelsea, thanks so much.